what's going on YouTube? Today is October 19th, I believe. Today's video is not gonna be about a car. It is going to be more of just kind of a vlog. I'm gonna try to start doing one or two of these videos a week between the car videos, just kind of keep everything flowing. Right now I'm headed to Starbucks, then the office, because I gotta get some work done for myself first. And then after that, I will jump into some of the more software specific stuff. If it sounds like I kind of have a lisp or something, I feel like an idiot about this, but I first moved into the new house last week and I put a box in front of an air vent in the closet. The closet's in my bathroom. The other night I was brushing my teeth and the box, I guess the air kicked on and knocked the box over and it scared the shit out of me and I guess scared me enough that I like, like knee jerk reaction. I jammed the toothbrush into my gums and it's been like two days, but it just, it's so like, I actually like cut myself and it's just like so tender. So I'm trying not to use the bottom side of my mouth. Extra mother Yeah. So I apologize for the picture changing so much. Um, I actually sat down for 10, 15 minutes, dialed in all the settings, got it exactly how I think I want it. Um, picture profile wise, lighting, everything else. I think it should be pretty good going forward. If you don't live in the South, then you don't understand what Chick-fil-A is. And well, no, I think actually, I think it is not just in the South. I think they have them in Colorado. It's like the greatest thing in the world. They just sell chicken, like just very plain and basic chicken sandwiches that just are amazing. But unfortunately they have like a cult following. Pretty much at any given time you can expect to wait like 20 minutes in line. So while I'm sitting here waiting, I wanna go over something real quick. I said in my first video, uh, kind of covering what I do, that if you don't love computers and you don't love building things with computers, you probably shouldn't do it. And I didn't mean that saying that if you're not interested in computers, you're not gonna succeed in this field. I meant it more as like, you should do what you love to do. Yeah, you could probably force yourself into it, but why do something you don't love to do? Go find what you love to do and do that. Totally forgot to bring the camera back in my office with me, but it was good to just sit down and work for a while and not focus on anything besides work. Uh, I'm all caught up now. I just wanna go through like a couple quick things. One, we live in a time right now where every device, even the one in your hand, is pretty much powerful enough to do anything you want. So unlike 20 years ago where you kinda had to have a decent computer, um, which was probably super expensive and not everyone had access to it. At this day and age, pretty much every single one of you should have access to a computer that can handle any kind of software development you want. So that kind of evens the playing field here. So don't think you have to have some crazy computer. You can use whatever you want. First things first, if you don't know anything about computers, I would recommend learning a computer inside and out. I'm not saying you have to build your own computer or take one apart or anything like that. Just know general computer terms. It's going to be easier for you going forward if you understand how to use the console or terminal, different frameworks are, and how drivers work, and networking is a big one. Understand you know, what IPs are, what DHCP servers are, all that kind of stuff. Um, get a general understanding for it, especially you know, file types, file structures, and file directories. You don't have to know all that to get going. Um, it's just a recommendation. You wouldn't try to build a car if you've never looked into what goes into building a car. You drive one every day, but it doesn't mean you're qualified to build one. You should understand every single piece that is involved. So. Also decide a programming language. Um, a lot of the industry for bigger companies and stuff are moving to newer technology. Always gonna be a big demand for you know C++, C++, Java, stuff like that. At the same time, if you look at the growth curve for things like Ruby and Node and stuff like that, it's expanding ridiculously fast. Older languages are starting to die out. They're starting to be less taught, less sought after in the job place. Um, you'll actually see a decent amount of people that are kind of salty about it. They'll kind of say like, oh, you, you don't even know how to software develop because you're not using one of the original languages. Well, I'm in the business to make money. If I can make money with the languages I know, then I'm a happy camper. I could care less if I don't know the most complicated language out there. It doesn't matter to me. All I care about is making my clients happy. Once you have a general understanding about the computer, um, go ahead and pick a platform. That is gonna be the first thing. For me, the first platform I learned was web. Web development's awesome because it can run on any device. A lot of big companies will actually prototype web first and then they'll move to the other devices. It's easier to kind of test your market and see what the demand is for a product if you build it once on the web. And then as your demand grows, you port it out to an iOS version, an Android version, stuff like that. A lot of companies have gone that route where they didn't have an app, they actually started the website and then they went to an app. 
Um, just for that reason, it's cheaper. There are some platforms that you can write code once and it'll build it for all the devices. Um, but typically you kind of lose some of the, I'm not even gonna get into that right now. So pick a platform. Once you pick the platform, learn how to use Google. It blows my mind how many people do not know how to use Google. Anything that any of you have ever commented down below or asked me, I guarantee you can answer yourself with Google. If you know how to use Google and search Google, you can pretty much find the answer to anything. I would start out, let's say you pick web development. I would start out by going to Google and typing in, you know, basic guide to, or beginner's guide to web development, whatever that blank may be there. Websites I love, Stack Overflow, um, Yahoo Answers, stuff like that. There's a lot of questions, people out there like you guys that have asked questions and a lot of people have answered them or linked them somewhere else. Look at a lot of technologies have very, very well documented sites. Um, PHP, for example, has a huge website that goes through every aspect of it. Get into reading documents. Another quick tip is if you're looking into this industry, I don't want to take anything away from saying that it's not all about coding because you definitely have to know how to code, which whatever language you choose. Um, but it's more of a mindset. Software development is honestly, in my opinion, more about problem solving and looking at problems with a different perspective than it is actually just sitting there and typing all day. At first, it's probably gonna be a lot of trial and error just typing, but when you get to a point you understand the language in and out, it becomes problem solving. It is how do I build this website? How do I build this server? How do I make it do what I need it to do? It's all about problem solving. Um, and another quick tip is if you're somebody that doesn't like to be wrong a lot, or you don't like to be told that your way is not the right way, you're gonna hate software development. It's one of the few industries where the industry standard actually changes quite a bit. So even though the industry may have said something was correct five years ago, today that practice may actually be frowned upon. There's things that I've done for months and I totally thought it was the right way to do something, and I'll have someone else that has a, maybe a different way of thinking look at it and immediately they'll say, you know, why'd you do it this way? You could have done it like this and they'll show me their way and immediately I'm like, oh shit. I could have done it that way the last five months and I'll go back and fix it. Same way that there's a hundred different ways to say a certain sentence, there's a hundred different ways to fix a problem in code. So another recommendation of mine is once you've decided what technology you go into, look for groups in your area, look for meetups, look for online chat groups, stuff like that. Um, it'll definitely help you in the long run. Resources I recommend, again, always look at documentation. Stack Overflow is a great place. I myself have never actually taken any, or have never actually taken any paid courses. Paid, you know, lessons and stuff are definitely an option if you're somebody that does well with that kind of thing. But if you're willing to take the time and play with it, definitely teach yourself. So don't think you have to go, you know, buy some program or anything like that. Depending on what software you pick, it may be compiled, it may not be. In the case that you decide to go web technologies, JavaScript, stuff like that, it doesn't need to be compiled. Um, it can actually just be run in the, in the web browser. Um, or server languages, a lot of them don't need to be compiled. The server itself will run them. Um, in that case, you need a text editor. You could use Notepad or just notes on your MacBook if you really wanted to. Um, there's two I really recommend, and that's Sublime Text and Atom IO, and A-T-O-M, not Atom. Both are really great. They both have a package manager which allows you to kind of expand on them and give them different looks and different plugins and different helpers and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and link down below someone that I used a lot. Um, I would love to give you guys tutorials from basics to like building the next Facebook. But unfortunately, I don't have the time to do that and you guys shouldn't wait for me to have to post a million videos to do that. There's YouTubers and stuff out there that already have done a lot of this and they've worded it and they're better at teaching people than I will ever be. So instead of me trying to do it, I'm gonna link you to somebody and then I'll probably do some more stuff on this later on. Someone I use a lot of, his YouTube channel's named Learn Code Academy. Um, he's super easy to follow, very well spoken, and he covers pretty much everything from the basics to actual like specific technologies. I will put his link in the description box down below Go check them out if you're into web technologies. If you decided to go iOS or Android or Windows or maybe you wanna go machine language like Python or something like that, I really don't have any resources to help you there. Um, but same kind of virtues stand. You know, Google it, learn the basics, and then just keep kind of progressing onto it. It takes a certain mindset to learn it without going to school. Um, it definitely can be done. If you're the kind of person that needs step-by-step -step directions to do something, I would say go to school. But if you're the kind of person that just your entire life has always looked at a situation and said, you know, I can do it better than that, or I'll learn how to do it right now and then we'll, we'll take care of it next week, whatever it may have been, then I have, I'm confident you can probably teach yourself. I was able to teach myself, I have friends that were able to teach themselves. So the whole school, no school debate, obviously I lean one way over the other, but it's not to say that you shouldn't go to school and it's not to say you should. I'm making YouTube videos and driving cars. I should not be the deciding factor if you're going to school or not. I will give you my opinion, but don't, don't take it the wrong way. It's all up to you guys. So having said that, 
I hope this video helped you. I hope some of you can actually start maybe building projects and sending me links and stuff. I'd love to see what you guys do. I'm gonna get out of here. I appreciate you guys watching it. I hope I answered some questions and I'll catch you guys in the next one.